I was just about to do the wiring on this thing and the last time I used this AIO I got some questionings regarding the wiring so I'm going to go ahead and do this with you. So this cable right here basically you attach it to this and the reason I'm doing a wiring guide is because the manual you have to scan a QR code and the, the directions are pretty bad um, but so there's a port right here and then there's a port right here and basically you connect this to this part and then you connect it to the fan which powers all of the fans and then this right here is just a usb hub which you're going to plug in to the usb thing and then that's also another usb that's why there's two adapters and then this part right here you're going to plug into the actual usb part of the motherboard this is just an extra wire right here so this right here the usb this right here, you're going to be plugging into the hub. There's a, The reason this is so long is because you're going to plug it in here and then you're going to be able to route the wire down and you'll be able to put it in the actual hub, like right there. Now, oh geez. All right, there we go. So just uh, that, and that's really it, man. They're, they 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 intentionally made it so, so that there's not much wiring. And then this right here, you're going to power, and then this also goes into the hub and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, then I'm going to, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when it's all plugged in. I just wanted to do it this way. I was just about to install it, and I'm like, you know what? I got some questions, people asking about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and update you. Because it is a little bit confusing when you have other AIOs like this one. This is a Corsair AIO as well. But you see... There's the wiring is different. Like the fans on this one actually have wiring in the back and pretty much all other AIOs, they they really do. They, uh, they get very confusing and I figured I'd go ahead and update you guys regarding the wiring and how you install this because it is a lot different. But you plug the PCIe into this cable, which plugs into here. I'm pretty sure I forgot to say that, but I just really felt the need to mention how for the first time in your life, you probably actually disconnected this from a PCIe. So now you understand why it's so annoying to plug these into the OG graphics cards that didn't need the new one. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below.